really interesting election going on in Pennsylvania. Um, it's a special election. Uh, they're gonna redistrict these uh, districts in Pennsylvania. And so they'll have to do it all over again. And uh, two uh, guys in this rate might, race might be interestingly in different districts next time around, which is the 2018 elections. But in this special election, it's important because it's a bellwether. Uh, Trump won this district by about 20 points. So can the Republicans keep it? That shouldn't be a difficult question. I mean, Jesus, you, you won it by 20. What, okay, maybe you win it by 15, but it shouldn't be that close. Well, of course it is. Now, Trump went to do a rally for Rick Saccone, the Republican candidate in that race. But what was funny is that he said a lot of crazy things and he talked for over an hour, but he hardly mentioned Rick Saccone. So why? Well, let's go to Axios uh, to find out. Jonathan Swan writing, there's a reason Trump said hardly anything about Republican candidate Rick Saccone during a rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday night that was supposed to promote his candidacy. The reason, Trump thinks Saccone is a terrible, quote, weak candidate, according to four sources who've spoken to the president about him. Yeah, you're not losing 20 point leads all across the country, including in places like Oklahoma and Kansas because of Rick Saccone. There's another factor involved here and it might be the president. Now let me, let's give you a lot more context here. Uh, Nate Silver uh, explains that this district voted for Trump by 20 points and Romney by 17. The previous Republican incumbent there, Tim Murphy, didn't even have a Democratic challenger in 2014 or 2016, that's how Republican the district was. And Murphy won by 28 points the last time he did back in 2012. So this is not a purple district, this is a deeply red district. Uh, Republicans, even terrible candidates like Mitt Romney win there easily, but that is not the case now. Um, now we go to the Hill, Democratic Connor Lamb, uh, who's obviously running against Saccone, is gaining ground in Pennsylvania's closely watched special election and holds a six point lead over Republican Saccone according to a poll released the day before the race. Now that's a mammoth poll, it's a little bit of an outlier and if you take a, a, a smaller set of the people that have uh, voted in previous elections, then you get down to a two point advantage for Lamb and other polls have it closer. Most of them have Lamb winning, some still have Saccone holding on to a, a, a very narrow uh, margin, but overall, it's at best even, so you've lost 20 points there. At a minimum, if you take the last uh, contested election in that district for Congress, you've lost 28 points. That is a significant trend and it's not just about one candidate. But of course, uh, the uh, Republicans would like to blame it on that. Now, uh, you could say, well, Rick Saccone's not doing a good job of raising money. And that's relatively true, Connor Lamb has actually outraised them on a personal level. But that is deeply misleading. Because Saccone has more money because of independent expenditures, the dark money that is flowing in from people like the Koch brothers. TYT Investigates has a good story about that. We'll put the link down below. Uh, from that story, I, and let me quote Alex Koch, one of our reporters here. As of March 12th, uh, the top six outside spending groups in the race have all sided with Saccone, accounting for $10.3 million or 84% of the total independent spending, according to campaign finance data compiled by ProPublica. So uh, most of the outside money is going to Saccone, uh, significantly so, and he's got a ton of money. So money isn't the real issue. Anyone who says otherwise uh, is uh, at, at best case scenario, not well versed with the facts. Okay, so back to Axios now, the, Jonathan Swan explains, should Saccone lose, Republicans will be quick to describe his loss as meaningless and will argue it's not a bellwether for November's elections. They'll say he was a terrible candidate and that his loss should be a wake up call to other Republican candidates who may be getting lazy about their fundraising. Now, I just explained to you why that is a piss poor excuse. Uh, that is just not the reality of the matter. It is not money that is making the difference. It's not Saccone in particular, otherwise you wouldn't have massive swings in places like Kentucky, Oklahoma, Kansas, and the list goes on and on. Deeply red places in Wisconsin flipping. Uh, the governor there, uh, Scott Walker, is saying that it is a wake up call for the Republican Party. But this is a party that is in deep slumber mode and they refuse to wake up to the real problem, which is Donald Trump. So CNN interviewed some Saccone supporters here. So they're Republicans. Let's listen in on what one of them thinks about how Trump is helping or not helping in this particular race. 
I don't necessarily like how the president presents things. I don't like his persona, so to speak. Um, that's why, while I'm still supporting Saccone, it did cause me to look a little towards Connor Lamb. If anything, if I were Saccone, I'd tell Trump to stay away because he puts his foot in his mouth. You're saying that, that the president's support of Saccone and his rally for Saccone would make you less inclined to support him? Much less inclined. Uh, so those are two Republican voters saying they're less inclined to support the Republican. In fact, they're looking at the Democrat now because Trump is supporting Saccone, so they're thinking of fleeing from the scene. Uh, so that gives you a sense of what's happening across the country. Finally, we're gonna go to Amy Walter from the Cook Political Report. Uh, and their job is to just look at the numbers here and see how things are playing out uh, in terms of politics. And they say, this is a red congressional district that should go for the generic Republican. But the environment today is much worse than quote normal for Republicans. That's not because of Saccone or Lamb, but because of Trump. That part is obvious, but of course the president is thin skinned and would never admit to that. So like the child that he is, of course he's blaming everyone but himself. So he's ostensibly going to help Saccone there, but all he does is talk about himself for an hour at that rally and then leaks to the press that it's all the candidate's fault and not his classic Donald Trump and one of the many reasons why people have soured on him and why these red districts are now up for grabs and the Democrats look to be in pretty good shape there. What you just watched was one of the videos that we do today, but we actually do a whole two hour show every single day. It's a podcast, you could watch it in video or listen to it as audio. You can download it, you can stream it and you get it completely ad free if you could become a member of the Young Turks. tytnetwork.com slash join.